Hi there and welcome to Thursdays with Annette. So glad you're joining me today and as you can see I'm in my fizzy fabulous place, I'm in my kitchen and I've got my apron on ready to cook a fantastic recipe for you and it's my pepper fish. It's my family's go-to, we love it, we just never get sick of it so I'm excited to cook that for you today. But before we get cooking, I just want to talk about last week's show briefly because the barbecue tips I think really helped a lot of people and I think there was a few barbecues that got dusted off and cleaned up ready for spring. Now we had three very excited women who won, hello, pretty exciting, they won one of my aprons. And the three winners were the fabulous Ingrid Crantus, hi Ingrid. Gail Roberts, you were very excited too, Gail. I'm so happy you were a winner. And Diane Kalb was also pretty busy about getting her own apron. So I hope you wear it with Pride Girl in your kitchen. And take photos. Let me see you in your apron. I love it. So with today's show, we're going to do the pepper fish. Now, what I love about this recipe is that it's not hard to make. And when I created it, I actually was trying to do um, salt and pepper calamari. And I was thinking, oh, the salt's not really good for diabetics, so maybe I'll just focus on pepper. But then when I tried it, really with that type of thing with calamari, you need to cook it, you need to fry it or deep fry it. It just didn't work. So in the end, I landed up with this awesome recipe and it's way better than any of the um, salt and pepper things that you've tried in the past because let's go over the ingredients. So straight up, we've got some breadcrumbs, crushed garlic, parmesan cheese, sesame seeds, you need an egg white, some cracked pepper, skim milk, the fish, you know, the boneless fish fillet, and some fresh basil. Now we need two tablespoons of fresh basil, and what you do is you just chop it up into little fine strips, and then just chop it up so it's, it's quite small. You don't want big chunks. And that's kind of all the prep you have to do, really. You just got to get the, um, the basil leaves all small. Now, if you're saying, Annette, I don't like basil, because I know that there are some people that don't, then my suggestion would be to use fresh parsley and once again, chop it up so it's a bit fine. You could even do coriander, I reckon. I haven't done it with coriander. I might have to try that next week. Okay, so we've got our chopped up fresh basil and what we're going to do is put it all together. Now, I'm going to use the gloves because we're crumbing and I don't like it getting under my nails and in my jewellery. I know, I'm a princess, what can I say? So, we're going to put in three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs. We're then going to put in two tablespoons of the um, parmesan that's just, you know, grated, like the craft one. Then we're going to do two tablespoons of sesame seeds. I mean, this is not hard, is it? And then we're going to do the crushed black pepper, and that's um, two teaspoons. Now, I wanted to show you what I buy because I don't chop it up and crush up the peppers myself. You could if you wanted to, but I find this really easy and I find we have it enough and regularly enough so that we can use that. And then we're going to put in two teaspoons of garlic. So just the crushed garlic. Here we go. I'm just going to put these over in my sink. And then we need two tablespoons of the chopped up fresh basil. I probably should have done it a little bit finer than it is, but we are on a time span here, so I don't want to um, take too long. Put that over there as well. And then we're going to mix that up. So I'll just leave that there for the minute because I want to prep up for doing the fish. So what we need to do in here is one egg white, and I mean it's little things that I do, ooh, little things that I do to really save on the fats, and that is by using the egg whites and skim milk, 
And I'm just going to mix that together. And this is our the ba base to the crumbs. Because, you know, when you're doing crumbing, you always have to have a wet mix. I did get a little bit of egg yolk in there, but we're not going to talk about that, are we? <laughs> okay, so that's good. I'm using bassa fish fillets because I like them for several reasons. One, I just get them up at Woolies so it's quick and easy and they're not expensive. We've actually even been buying it in the frozen bag uh, that you get there as well and it's a really economical way to enjoy fish because sometimes it can get pretty pricey when you, um, you're buying fish. Alright, so we're just now going to mix all that together. So remember in here is the breadcrumbs. It's that fresh basil, garlic, sesame seeds, and the pepper, and the palmy. So this is way tasty. It's like you kind of don't taste them individually. Like, you know, you might not even really go, oh my gosh, the basil in here is fantastic. But all together, it just works. It's super easy to make, and it's so much better than just a boring piece of grilled fish. And I eat a lot of fish because it's really fantastic on a weight loss program because it's so low in fat. So I'm going to bring this over in a second, but I want to heat it up. I might just crumb a couple of pieces because we just don't have time. So you just put it in the wet mix and then cover it with the crumbs. I mean, look how gorgeous those crumbs look. It's so yum. And if you think fish is boring, then you obviously haven't made this recipe. So there's that one. And I'll just do one more. As I say, this is for four people. So I've actually got four pieces of fish here. And just press that in. Like the firmer you can press it in, the better. Because that means the crumbs and everything will stay on nicely. And uh, it's kind of, Diane related it to um, a little bit, bit like a the duca mix, but uh, I was so way ahead of my time with that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I might just grab another plate. I'm going to put them over here. Now you can see we've got the crumbs all coated with the fish, but the, chip, the, the trick here is we're not frying it. We're going to just cook it with as little as oil as I think you can and I'm going to turn that over and cook it for about three minutes on that side then I'll spray it again flip it over and cook it for another three now the thing is with fish it's actually a really good source of protein it's low in fat which I love but high in a form of good fats, which are those omega-3 fatty acids. Now, omega-3 fatty acids are thought to act as a natural anti-inflammatory agent. So there's lots of good reasons to eat fish. And it can regularly uh, reduce your chance of having a fatal heart attack by 25% or more, says the Heart Foundation of Australia, by eating a lot of fish. Now, there's also evidence that omega-3s are good for the brain which I love that, and they may reduce our chances of developing cognitive impairment and dementia as we get older. So like, come on guys, we need to be fishing up. Now the National Heart Foundation recommends we eat two to three serves of fish a week. Now those oily fishes are the ones to go for, like the mackerel, the Atlantic salmon, even canned salmon counts, canned tuna, herrings and sardines. Now you also can get your omega-3s uh, with fish oil supplements, which I take every day, and you can get them from your health food store. So look, lots and lots of fabulous reasons to get in and get your fish going. Now, I've made a bit of a mess here, but that's okay. So one of the things that I'm really excited about with this, with this beautiful fish is I also actually serve it with tartare sauce. Now, the tartare sauce is in book one. Let me just show you. That's the recipe there. And it's fantastic with fish. But the tartar sauce is, takes two minutes to make. But what I love about it is it keeps in the fridge for months. So this is my little tartar sauce ready to go for the fish. The other thing is that you'll find there is a seafood section in all my cookbooks. 
And some of my go-tos that I do regularly are the fish Alaska, honey slow salmon, we just love that to death, the fish Mornay, the teriyaki fish, ginger lime fish is another one we really love, and we use the budrum ginger, and of course we live in budrum, so that's even more special. And I really love the Thai sweet and sour fish too, just to name a couple, I could go on forever. And um, so let's turn this one now. I'm gonna turn them over, I'm gonna move this along. There we go. Oh no, I spray it first, hello, listen to myself. And that way it'll really help we're coating the, uh, the crumbs. Oh, yum! Oh my God! Ah, doesn't it look fabulous? Look at that. Who wants this for dinner tonight? Yeah, me! <laughs> so we're going to cook that now for another three minutes. Um, and I might just turn it down just a fraction. Now the key here is also getting a little knife like this and opening it up when you think it's cooked because I've saved three minutes on each side, but it really depends on how thick the fish is. And so what I do is I just go in and open it up and have a look. Now, if you see the fish is white, then you are cooked, your fish is done. But if it's still clear looking, then it needs to be cooked longer. So that's just a little tip how you can tell with fish. Now, I think that this week we've got a giveaway that has to happen. It's a book six, of course. And uh, I just think it's such a great book because you also get the 28 day um, weight loss um, uh, program. But don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter so you can be part of my new Simply With You mentoring program. It's starting soon and you have to go to the website to do that. So go to www.simplytogood.com.au and sign up. Now, as I said, the prize is number six, but you have to do something to qualify. I'm going to pick three fabulous winners and what you do is you've got to like, share and in the comment you write hashtag simply too good. Repeating, hashtag simply too good and I'll pick three fabulous winners. My god this fish smells amazing. Let me just show you, I made one before because I didn't think it might be cooked in time. So there is my pepper fish ready to go. I mean, who knew weight loss could be so deliciously healthy? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a spoonful of my tartar sauce on the side and I'm ready for dinner. How good is that? Well, now, next week's show, I really am looking forward to next week. I look forward to every week, let's be honest, because, you know, I love you guys so much. But it's going to be good because we're going to be talking about spring weight loss tips. Where, you know, summer's going to be here before we know it. We're going to be dusting off our swimsuit and we don't want tears, we want joy. So join me next week for that fantastic segment. And just remember to enjoy what you eat, the simply too good to be true way. That's what it's all about. Pepper fish, I love it. Take care, guys. See you next week.